Hey everyone, it's me Fatima, all the way from the Gambia, just coming at you today with a little bit of information that I received and I wanted to kind of just state my opinion, you know. So before I state my opinion on this subject that you all see on your screen, go ahead and click that like button that subscribe button and the notification button so that way anytime we put out any videos you could be one of the first people to receive the videos and please share the videos so that way it can increase the how you say the algorithm rhythms so that way more people can experience this video and the subjects that we're talking about so now that we have that out the way so Everyone, look at this. We have a video here from Uganda um, stating their apology for their part in selling slaves. Wow. This is huge. In my opinion, this is huge. I believe this is the beginning of the two sticks that's going to come together. This is the beginning. But in this video, I have the link listed below. In this video, he talks about the pain and the misery of our people that was sold into slavery. He talks about, he briefly speaks about like being raped, beaten, and, and he, oh my gosh, some of the pain and stuff that we all went through. He speaks about that. He also talks about how many of our people were scattered on the earth. That just goes to show you, they know who we are. They know that we are Israel. We were scattered from one corner to the other. He even talks about, like I said, their part in selling the slaves. That I, I personally did not know that Uganda had a big major part in the slave trade. I really thought that it was more so West Africa because, you know, we've heard stories about Ghana um, maybe selling some people. We've heard stories about maybe Nigeria and maybe up in those areas selling people. Um, I didn't know that East Africa might've had a major part in the selling of the slaves. Wow. You learn something new every day. That's a big part though. What also I'm hearing from this, this gentleman, he's also saying that you know, they're asking for forgiveness for the selling of us and using Yahshua's name or Jesus name. Wow, that's big. And also, he's asking for the return of our people, for our people to come back to Africa, not necessarily to just Uganda, but just to come back to Africa. Wow. This is this is really big to me, in my opinion. I, to discuss the, the uncomfortable truth, it's truth. And it's very uncomfortable for many people, uh, many other races, particularly one. And for him as an African leader to actually come out publicly and ask for forgiveness and repent, apologize to our Heavenly Father for their part in the slave trade. Wow, to me that is like majorly, majorly big. That is huge. And also to speak about the curses that's on their land. You know, when you think about it, is it is it possible? Is it possible? And I'm sure everyone's going to have an opinion on this, but is it possible that all the things that Africa and many countries here in Africa have went through with the colonization, 
the brainwashing, the white Jesus that's put in front of them, the Christianity that's taught to them and showing that white people are superior or more superior than they're the most superior race on the planet. Do you think that's all a curse based from their part in the slave trade, especially if they knew who Yahshua's people were or the heavenly father's people were? Do you think that, that this is the reason why many countries in Africa was considered to be under a curse? Is it because of what they did to our people? I'm just curious. I'm just asking a question. It's an uncomfortable truth. But you know what they say about truth. The truth will set you free. But first, it'll piss you off. <laughs> wow. Well, I can say that I am very happy to see that this is even starting. Some more truth is starting to come out, y'all. Some more truth is starting to come out. Africa, as far as I'm concerned, is about to be free and about to rise and lift up. And the more and more people that we have coming back from more of our people that's coming back from America to Africa and more of our people that's even coming back from the UK area back to Africa. I think the continent has nothing else to do but to rise. I see the two sticks are coming together. And sooner or later, we're all going to be able to praise our father up in heaven together. And he will have no choice but to hear the praises coming from us. That is going to be a glorious time. But this is a good time to be alive, to witness this. So I, I think it's a good thing. You all tell me what you think. Leave your comments down below. Tell me what you think about this. I had the link for the video. So that way you can hear the video yourself and come up with your own opinion. Okay, so blessings be unto you all. Speak with you all soon. Don't forget to click the like button for me. And let's talk soon. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. If you're not a subscriber, Click the subscribe button so that way you could be notified of our upcoming videos.